Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between dry machining and wet machining. Machining is one secondary manufacturing process that is performed to impart desired shape, size and surface finish by removing unwanted material from a solid 3D blank. In conventional machining operations, the cutting tool compresses a thin layer of workpiece material to gradually shear it off in the form of chips. When machining is carried out in presence of cutting fluid, it is termed as wet machining or wet cutting. If no cutting fluid is deliberately applied during machining, then it is termed as dry machining or dry cutting. So, let's look into the basic differences between dry machining and wet machining in a tabular form. Difference number 1. In dry machining, machining is performed in absence of appropriate cutting fluid, whereas, in wet machining, Machining is performed in presence of appropriate cutting fluid. Number 2. In dry machining, no cutting fluid delivery system is required, whereas, in wet machining, proper fluid delivery system must be installed with the machine tool for controlled delivery of cutting fluid. Number 3. In dry machining, no additional accessories for fluid delivery is required, whereas, in wet machining, additional accessories like storage tank, pump, pipeline, nozzle, recycle system, etc. are required. So machine becomes heavy and bulky. Number 4. Dry machining is less hazardous to the workers. No such environmental pollution is associated with dry cutting, whereas, in wet machining, prolonged exposure to cutting fluid sometimes turns hazardous to the operator. Moreover, its disposal contaminates environment, water and soil. Number 5. In dry machining Problems associated with corrosion of machine tool are not prevalent here owing to absence of cutting fluid, whereas, in wet machining, some cutting fluids corrodes various machine parts rapidly. Thus longevity of machine tool degrades. Number 6. In dry machining, rate of heat generation during machining is considerably more, whereas, in wet machining, for same parameters and materials. Rate of heat generation is low due to lubricating effect of cutting fluid. Number 7. In dry machining, cutting temperature remains very high during machining, whereas, in wet machining, cutting temperature remains significantly low because of reduced rate of heat generation and continuous removal of heat by cutting fluid. Number 8. In dry machining, high cutting temperature sometimes limits the level of process parameters. Thus, high cutting velocity. Feed rate and depth of cut cannot be utilized, which leads to low material removal rate and low productivity. Whereas, in wet machining, because of low cutting temperature, high values of speed, feed and depth of cut can be utilized without much problem. Thus high material removal rate and improved productivity can be achieved. Number 9. In dry machining, high cutting temperature accelerates the tool wear rate and thus reduces tool life. Dry machining also tends to deform the cutting edges plastically, whereas, in wet machining, for the same work tool material combination and process parameters, tool under wet machining exhibits prolonged life due to degraded wear rate. Tendency of plastic deformation is also meager. Number 10. In dry machining, sometimes finished surface oxidizes or burns due to excessive cutting heat. Dry machining changes the surface properties and appearance leading to rejected item, whereas, in wet machining, cutting fluid can protect the finished surface from oxidation by maintaining the cutting temperature minimum. Number 11. Due to excessive cutting heat, chip color changes undesirably in dry machining, whereas, in wet machining, chip color usually remains same to that of work material. Number 12. In dry machining. Workpiece and cutting tool are subjected to other thermal damages also, whereas, wet machining reduces tendency of thermal damages of workpiece and cutter. And, difference number 13, dry machining can be carried out while cutting soft materials like wood, polymer, soft metals, etc., whereas, wet machining is preferred which cutting hard metals like steel, titanium, etc.